Hi, it's Diana Marchand from dianamarchand.com and I am back on the deck where I used to do my videos. My dog is here too. I'll let you see there's Bailey laying in the sun. It's a beautiful day. And what I want to talk to you today about is kind of about where are you now? Um, how important is to know where you are now? Like what's going on? Um, taking stock of where you are, what's going on in your life, what's going on in your body, how are you feeling? And then to know that way you kind of know what changes do I need to make? What do I need to do? What's the most important thing? Um, often, you know, every day we go about our lives and we're so busy and we kind of forget to check into, our, into ourselves. And I've talked to you a lot about how uh, stress can just wreak havoc on us and is so dangerous. You know, it lowers our immune system. We won't be able to release weight at all. We actually gain weight. It's a way, you know, way that our body tends to put on fat. So many reasons that stress is just not good for us and can lead us into adrenal fatigue and feeling exhaustion, lead to inflammation within the body, a whole lot of things. So what are you doing in your life to help and manage this? Like, how are you feeling now? Do you check in or do you just live day to day going, you know, through your life, rushing, 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 not really paying attention to how you're feeling and how you're doing? And then that is often when something happens that kind of knocks us into like reality and goes, oh my God, like I'm just, you know, I bonked, my energy is completely gone. I've gotten sick. I've done something. So I talked a bit about this in my last video, but it's really important to assess where are you now? What's going on? How are you feeling? Where are you? What stage? What phase of life are you at? Um, you know, I talk a lot about women going through the change, right? To the mid, in your 40s, mid 40s and closer to 50s, depends on when you start going through it, right? What is your body going through? Do you feel like you're going crazy? Have you gained weight? Do you have a lot of symptoms going on that you're unsure of in your body? And knowing that this could be and, and may very well be symptoms of perimenopause in a way that, so then you know what you need to do, right? This is a phase. It will end. You're not dying. You're not sick. You're not going crazy. It's something that's just going on. It's changes within your body. So for women, of course, you know, in this middle age, there's so many things that could be going on. So many things. And you just can't ignore them because the more you try to push them aside and to go through your life and to forget about it and just suck it up and all that it's my dog again and just suck it up and all that you it's not really going to get better it usually doesn't what happens is it usually gets worse so how are you feeling now check in with yourself what symptoms are you noticing is there some things that have kind of come over time we don't even realize it right like things about stress our life can increasingly get more stressful 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 busier 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 at a slow rate until it's gone so crazy right? That we feel we've lost control of so many things in our life. Are you at a phase where you thought, you know, I thought I'd really be able to slow down right now. I thought I'd really be able to have my own time and I'm busier than ever. I'm taking care of so many people. I don't really want to do this. Are you noticing that you're more bitchy and cranky and you're feeling overwhelmed and you're feeling like this isn't what I signed up for? Are you happy with your life? How do you feel most of the time during the day? Do you feel overwhelmed, frustrated, um, you know, like something's not right, like something is just out and this isn't the way you want to live your life, but you feel you have no control. That's another thing that can completely affect how you feel physically and mentally, right? And then we know that if our body, if our mind, body, soul is all out of balance and all out of whack, that that will affect our health, absolutely affect our health. So where are you now? Even if you have to write it down, you know, sit down and go, what's going on in my life? Like, am I living in a way that I actually want to live? Now, it doesn't mean that we can control everything. We just got to say goodbye and let go of everything all at once. But if you don't start realizing what things you want to change in your life, right? What things you're happy with, of course, you can be totally happy with wonderful things in your life. But what things are you saying, you know, I think it's time for me to change or I'm not feeling well. So this is a sign. My body's sending me some symptoms that's telling me something is wrong. Something's not right. So then you know that it's time for you to start taking action, to start taking steps, to start doing things to feel better so that you don't end up with some sort of illness and disease. You don't end up with something that's going to completely change your life and you're going to have to quit, you know, quit work or whatever, stop doing what you love to do time to start to take an assessment of yourself. Where are you now? How are you feeling? Is where you thought your life would be now? Is it there? Or are you really far away from where you hope to be? 
because those are things that are going to really affect your health and your well-being. Where do you want to go? Then the next important thing is to know what you want your life to be like now, where you want to be in life, how you want to feel every day of your life. Those are things you need to know where you are now, what's working, what's not working. And then, of course, what you want your life to look like. And then you're going to start to take steps and actions that bring you closer towards what you do want. And that's exactly what I help women with, too. So feel free to reach out to me. You can check out my site, dianamarchand.com, and I do have a few programs up there. We also work on arranging your life kind of to more the way you want to, as well as the food and the nutrition, because you need health to live your best life, right? (coughs) Excuse me. And make sure to join my Facebook community, Women Creating Healthy Lives. Thank you so much, and take the assessment about yourself. Write out all the things that you know aren't right, aren't going right, and then work towards what you want but you really need to have a clear vision of what you want what you want things to be like to get yourself there okay take care bye bye